Welcome to Pub Talk, the unofficial official craft beer podcast of Oklahoma, where we're all about the three B's, beer buddies and bullshit. I'm Michael, and with me as always is a man who's never been to heaven, but he's been to San Diego. Jeremy? Hey, hey, hey. Today we're back at it again, recording remotely to play a little catch-up between interviews as we head into the holiday season. If you like what you hear today, hit that subscribe button before bouncing and show us some love on social media at Pub Talk Podcast. All right, let's get to first round. You know, they brew 10,000 bottles of beer a day. I drink 45 off the assembly line, and I'm the asshole. Okay, I think I get always, always get confused when we do remotely. So is it, what are you drinking today? What are we drinking today? Sure. Uh, same time. Yeah, we'll just literally just <laughs> both talk at the same time. It'll be really enjoyable for everyone. I bet. Just pick it out. Uh, <laughs> so I am drinking... Um, a beer from our friends down in Edmond, or going to be in Edmond, uh, Frenzy Brewing Company. I'm drinking Unspeakable Things. It's their New England IPA. Uh, 6% ABV. It's fucking delicious. And you can buy it in Tulsa now. So, yeah. Um, I think we've talked about this beer on the show before, but maybe not in an official capacity, if you will. Yeah. Um, probably my favorite IPA being made in Oklahoma right now. Sorry to anyone that finds that offensive, but yeah, it's uh, fucking delicious. Man, it's really good. I've, I've consumed a lot of these uh, over the last sample of months. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. It's um, definitely God territory for me personally. It's uh, I probably on our five round scale, I'm easily north of a four and I'm probably floating closer to like the four and a half range. Um, oh wow! I yeah, I'll officially, I'll, I'll just say four and a half officially. Yeah, we haven't rated that one on the show, have we? No. <laughs> yeah. No, I know we both had plenty of it, but yeah, I don't think we've ever had it on the show. Yeah, that one's fucking awesome. That's definitely above a four in my book too. I keep forgetting that it's in town now yeah. as well. Well, when, when um, we came back from San Diego last week. Um, we got back Thursday, Friday. We went to the liquor store because we had kind of depleted what beer was in the house. We went to the yeah. liquor store and just kind of went nuts with uh, mainly Oklahoma. I think all Oklahoma beer actually. And uh, yeah, may have, may have bought three or four of these uh, four packs. Nice. Uh, well, I'm drinking an IPA too. That's how far we've come. Yeah. That that's that's we the beer we both them. randomly picked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mine's from Tulsa. I'm drinking the. Uh, the Tulsa flag IPA from dead armadillo. Okay. Kind of a throwback to your wedding. Yeah. Not kind of, it was at your wedding. Yeah. <laughs> Had quite a, quite a few that day. So it's the second in there. I believe they're, they're Tulsa flag series. Yeah. They're planning on making another one, aren't they? Uh, Did they yeah, say they, something about that? Uh, they weren't sure what it was going to be, yet, but yeah, but a different one in the series, not just like blonde or whatever. Right. Um, but it's five five ABV. Uh, I do prefer it over the blonde Um, nothing against the blonde I just prefer IPAs. Yeah. Um, but not much else to say about it. It's, it's good beer. You can pick it up locally too, of course, because it's here in Tulsa. Uh, yeah. It's good beer. Um, three point seven. Okay. Right on. Yeah, I've had that one too. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Probably in that yeah. same ballpark. Um, yeah. I oh, mean, I definitely I prefer like the, the Nipas over just the West Coast or the regular IPAs. Yeah. Yeah, I just realized too, because I'm extremely hungover today and it's been a minute since we've done this. I guess we need a God's part for unspeakable things. Oh, yeah. It feels like it's got to be something in the underpants because it's unspeakable. Yeah. Yeah, like they're naughty bits or something. Yeah. Mm. I said naughty bits. What the fuck? That's weird. Uh, uh, God's thick bush. <laughs> I'm just looking at the can, and it's got that green uh, writing on it. And it's reminding me of trees and whatnot. Uh, but, what well, it made it immediately made me made me laugh and go holy fuck so yeah I love it okay <laughs> yeah. oh one day we got to track down all those names get the, get something 
drawn up or something. I think we say that every time. Come up every time. Yeah. Yeah. Just, part of me I just really wants to see all that stuff together in one picture. And most of them I've already forgot. It so it'd be a nice little throwback. It'd have to be like, you know how like on a map of the United States, like if to zoom in on New England for... Uh, <laughs> it'd have to be like that with the, the junk region. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's fucking perfect. Um, so, shit, it's been a minute. Yeah. Uh, definitely since a non-guest, non-special episode. Um, I honestly don't remember the last... Yeah, the last one. Did we, we did. have we recorded since Nothing's Left, or was uh, it before then? Yeah, we did one the week after Nothing's Left. That's been the last time. Okay. Yep. So before Tyler, before Pearl Brewery tours, before right? Craft. Yep. Before, before Craft. Yep. Oh yeah, fuck yeah, we've done a shitload. Yeah. Not it's not that many shows. I think we've only done four shows since the last normal one, but. I say, I say only. That's still a month. That's still quite yeah. <laughs> Who did we do first? Was uh, so Pearl we, right after? Or? No, we did Craft Mag. Craft uh, was right was after? Week after nothing's left, yeah. Okay. Well, or two weeks after, yeah. And that was that was a first for us because we had the guest. Well, I guess not maybe a first because we've had people inside the studio there, but first like spotlight episode? Yeah. Inside the studio? Yeah, it made sense. You know, you know Ben and. Um, yeah. It's not like he has a brewery for us to visit since it's amazing. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. But yeah, that was cool. Uh, actually went to their uh, one year party last week at Nothing's Left. Literally got was that plane, went home, put my shit up, went to Nothing's Left. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that, that was, it was cool. Um, I, I walked in the door and the first thing is I saw Tom Chalice there. So I was kind of. Oh, yeah, I saw that. I saw, <laughs> I saw that on Facebook that. Uh, they're doing a beer tour or whatever down here. Yeah, yeah, he was there, um, and he hung out most of the night with some of, some of his friends. And uh, of course, yeah, there were a lot of people that uh, stopped by that were familiar faces. But um, yeah, that craft and wise and that uh, that they did for that event, it's actually still on top of nothing's left or it was like yesterday. Um, really good beer, really good easy drinker. Nice. Uh. But, yeah, uh, I saw that. Oh, yeah, I saw that on, on Nothing's Left page that you can, yeah, they still had it. You could take it home with Crowlers. Yeah, yeah. Is that, that like a shitload of stuff you can get in Crowlers there right now? Yeah, I think they're just trying to blow through some stuff because they've got some stuff waiting in the wings. So, uh, yeah, Crowler anything right now. Nice. Yeah, I, I meant to get a Crowler of Time and Trace before I left there yesterday, but, you know. Long day. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess it's good. I guess from uh, Craft Magazine, our our next stop would have been uh, Barktoberfest in Stillwater. Um, there then the September. <clears throat> that was awesome. Yeah, first time doing something like that, getting a table set up and everything. Yep. Yeah, that was cool. We're getting to hand out some some swag, talk to some people about uh, you know where to find us and that kind of thing and even got to chat with a few I think all well all, all, all but Brian from Frenzy were new guests to the show so we talked to we talked to Brian from Frenzy Brewing and then we talked to uh, uh, Enid Brewing Company Canadian River Brewing Company and Lazy Circles and then the uh, Tipsy Sailors uh, I guess home brewers for now but looking at Stillwater yeah that was pretty legit um, it was really cool getting to just to talk to the people as they came up to the table, um, getting to c- do a quick elevator pitch on our show. Yeah. Um, cool seeing a lot of people pull out their phones to look us up, yeah. to get us added to their rotation. I really wish I would have looked at Spotify before. All those people said they listen on Spotify to find out that their search function sucks. Yeah, I've, I've um, come to find out that a, a large percentage of our listening base is Spotify, actually. Yeah. That's sort of... I, I don't know. I, I guess they they did their due diligence and found us. Yeah. But. So if you didn't know we're on Spotify, you can find us on there. Just you got to do some scrolling. Yeah. Because uh, just look for the picture. We're definitely not that other. There's another fucking pub talk on there that'll fall off soon if it hasn't already. Yeah. But no, good fucking times. Matt did an awesome job getting yeah. all that set up. Yep. Down there. Which I guess. Uh, I don't know. I mean. Yeah, that's show worthy. Do what? 
What were you about to say? Oh, I, I was just debating it. About I, him? I think it's safe to say uh, he's not yeah. with Iron Monk anymore. He's moved on to Dead Armadillo. So, um, it's a good spot. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a good fit. Do you know, is he is he moving down here? No, he's not. Heather uh, commented on his Facebook and asked him. Oh, right on. He's staying in Stillwater. I think uh, Travis. Makes sense. Dead Armadillo told me he's going to focus on Oklahoma City. So. Oh, sweet. So, that makes sense. Yeah. I think that you told me that. Someone told me that <laughs> yesterday when I was five breweries deep. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that was that was awesome. Um, I'd love to do that, do more of those. That was, yeah, uh, yeah everything about that was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I... Uh, I'd, I'd love to do some more of those, and I was just going to throw out there, if anyone listening uh, is associated with in charge of uh, any upcoming events like that, beer festival, what have you, want us to set up and hand our stickers and whatnot out, maybe record a little something, holler at us uh, in social media, or you can email, I guess, jeremy at pubtalkpodcast.com. Um, we'd love to do some more of that stuff. Yeah, for sure. Huh, what was next? Uh, Your memory's way better than mine. <laughs> well, it, it wasn't for the show, but uh, the next thing uh, that happened, just life-wise, was uh, Harvest Spear Festival. It was that following weekend? Uh, and also Well Towns Oktoberfest, and my bachelor party. That was a very ass weekend. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so. Um, I'm not going to sit here and try and remember all the beers that I had at Harvest, particularly because, <laughs> my God. It, yeah. How could you? Uh, but I remember having a new, I think, Raspberry Sour from Rapture that was really good. Um, Erie Abbey had something that I'm not remembering what it was right now that I remember yeah. being pretty impressed by, and I'm looking forward to, to them getting their doors open here in the next couple months. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I, 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 I shouldn't even try to remember any of them. We drank a lot of a lot of good local craft beer uh, at Harvest Beer Festival, and apparently that wasn't enough. We went over to Well Town and had some heirloom <laughs> and rapture beer over there. Um, yeah, yeah, and then uh, that was a cool little setup. Yeah, it was. They're, no, they're they, a little Oktoberfest thing. They did a good job with the event. Um, it, the rain was not ideal but yeah not at all <laughs> uh, yeah and then the next day I turned around and went uh, loaded up a van um, which sorry you had to miss that but loaded up a van with some some friends and uh, went out to Northwest Arkansas and hit uh, four or five places out there uh, for a bachelor party and I, I they had that's some really good stuff uh, I I enjoyed um Probably, well, I guess I should say we went to Ozark uh, Brewing Company. We went to Hawk Moth. We went to um, New Providence. And we went to Bike Rack Brewing. And we stuck at Growler USA in there, too. Um, but <clears throat> I really enjoyed uh, Ozark and Bike Rack quite a bit. Uh, the other two were still good. Just those were, those were my two uh, favorites of the first stop and the last stop. I don't know if that plays into it, but... Um, I was gonna say, I've seen that Ozark posted quite a bit, like in beer trade groups and stuff like that. Yeah, they make uh, a stout. Like their stouts. Yeah, highly sought after. They did not have it that day, unfortunately. Oh, uh, gotcha. It's a big place? Are any of them that big? I mean, I think Northwest Arkansas, I think maybe kind of a little tiny, but. Uh, they're all comparable to what we have here. Right on. Yeah, size wise. Uh, How far apart were they? Different towns? I, I honestly have Pretty no big. concept to that since I wasn't driving and stuff and <laughs> gotcha. was drinking. Um, yeah, I mean, it didn't feel far apart, but it was also pouring down rain all fucking day. So, oh, shitty. Um, it was, uh, it did clear up the drive home. That was nice. But, um, yeah, it was, it was kind of hard to tell exactly. I didn't have my bearings at all. Um, Makes sense. But. You know, the fact that we were able to hit that many, like, they weren't that far apart. Uh, gotcha. But yeah, they've got a ton out there, actually, and they've got a little, uh, it's like a passport 
booklet, you know, where you go to each brewery and get a stamp, and I, I don't know what you get if you complete it, but <clears throat> I, it probably comes as a surprise to, to no one that I'm a completionist, and now that I've got a few stamps in it, I'm going to have to go back and complete it. <laughs> I think uh, maybe like a quarter of the trip out there is going to be in order. Right on. I think I know what happened after that one. Pearl Brewery Tours? Yeah. yeah a few, a few, few days, days later? later? Yeah, yeah. Right on. Hey, got that one right. It was cool to have Tyler back on the show. Uh, yeah, I've actually got Talk about his first. Uh, but yeah, it was, uh, I've, I've gotten a bunch of feedback about that episode. Several people have told me that's their, their favorite one that we've done with a guest. And, oh, know, awesome. Tyler himself has said he was much more comfortable and that that probably lended itself to a better episode. And that makes sense, you know, first time feeling everybody out and that kind of thing. But yeah. Now he knows us and, you know, conversation flowed a little better probably. But, yeah, that was, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Thanks to Don Armadillo for letting us record out there for yeah. that episode. For sure. Yep. Um, still think Tyler should get some type of fan hooked up to the back of the bus so we can let people hotbox back there if they keep bugging them about it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, good times. Yeah. Was your wedding after that? What was next? Um, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, we, was... we skipped a week just because, my God, there's been so much going on. Was... <laughs> October's been fucking nuts. It was time to... was nuts. Yeah, it was time to chill out for a minute, but... Um, so yeah, your wedding. Congrats! Thanks, thanks for officiating. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> did a good job. Thank you. Uh, yeah, good times. Yeah, that that whole day is a little bit of a blur to me. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm still and not not because I got epically drunk at the reception, but uh, yeah, I probably actually remember more of the reception than the lead up. Uh, I don't know. I I've had many different people tell me over the course of. You know, the couple months leading up to it, like, oh, you know, just make sure to take lots of pictures and this and this and this, because uh, you're, it's going to go by in a flash and you're not really going to remember it all, because it's just a hectic, crazy moment. And I'm like, yeah, that's accurate. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I, I guess, it, obviously, the best thing that came out of that was, was actually getting married, but the, yeah. Um, the thing that I would take away from it the most that I enjoyed that's relevant to the show was we did not have any beer options that weren't local craft beer. So we had the Tulsa Flag Blonde and the Tulsa Flag IPA, Marshall's This Land Lager, and Marshall's Dunkel. And uh, everybody, everybody found something that they liked out of those four options, you know, yeah. uh, the, the craft lovers and non-craft lovers alike. So... I thought that was cool, and um, I was glad we over-ordered on beer, because I, I know my people, and <laughs> we, we, killed, uh, we killed most of it. Uh, there, was, there was some, I think there was some Tulsa Flag Blonde and some This Land left, but the others, was, the Dunkel was completely gone. I think it might have been one can of the IPA left. Nice. So. Good times. Yeah. Yeah, that was... Yeah, it was a good time. Um, God damn, I drank a lot of beer in October. <laughs> going all, going back over all of it all at once. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, just, I swear I don't have a problem. Just a hot. <laughs> you did the opposite of sober October. Oh my God, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, we hopped that plane, you know, about thirty six hours after the wedding. To uh, San Diego, and you know, I won't dive into all that again. We did a whole episode about it. Uh, Heather and I did. It's available. <laughs> Go listen to it. But really good episode. Thanks. Um, yeah, it felt weird uh, doing one without you, but uh, and it felt weird doing one with her, and it felt weird doing it in a hotel room. <laughs> but it turned out okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. The, I guess the, the one thing I'll just say again about that, and I said it at the end of that episode. Um, we're making better beer in Oklahoma than California, in my opinion. Not that it, not that it was bad out there. I'm not shitting on anything out there, but uh, Oklahoma, um, yeah, great beer here. 
That's awesome. I do have to ask, because I don't remember if you, how much you talked about on the show. Belching and Beaver, did they have the uh, the um, the Mexican style? They had it on draft. They did not have they it did? to go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, right couldn't, I couldn't bring any back, but uh, I did. You know, the thing is, as, as many places as I was trying to, to hit, I wasn't drinking the real heavy stouts and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Um, as frequently or in full pours when I did, just trying to keep my sobriety. But right. uh, yeah, I uh, I definitely had. I think I had a taster of it at both places, both both Jim Beaver locations we went to. Awesome. Yeah. Um, that fucking purple drink or whatever looked fucking awesome. Yeah, I'm a, I'll keep a can. Of that. The can was legit. Yeah. <laughs> I'll make sure you get a can of that. Um. But yeah, and then rolled right into the craft anniversary party, and then uh, yesterday, uh, so that was on November 2nd, um, my friends Joe and Nikki had a little um, reception that then turned into a Pearl Brewery tour that then turned into me drinking for 10 hours, so <laughs> I think I'll take it easy this week. <laughs> or not. Yeah, plan- I'm planning to. <laughs> YOLO. Wait, people don't say YOLO anymore, do they? I don't know. We're old. It's okay. hope not. <laughs> uh, we can say uncool things for years. So, yeah, fuck that. Insane month. Yeah, I'm not uh, sober, to be honest with you. Right, I bet. <laughs> um, I know we've got a lot of stuff potentially coming up. Um, I know the holidays tend to slow down a little bit, but we've got a lot of feelers out there because we've met up with a bunch of people like you talked about at the at Barktoberfest and yeah um even when we went whatever, to so. the, the thing out in the city in August uh the summit or whatever yeah people from there so a lot of spotlight episodes coming up let's get them all yeah hammered out this in the in the immediate future as far as confirmed we've got uh we're gonna go back to Punk City and talk to Vortex uh they're Second anniversary party was yesterday, but obviously I couldn't make it. Um, so we're going to just head them up next weekend instead. Um, and then at the end of the month, good God, it's back. Our baby's back. Black Dolphin. Uh, oh, man. So we're going to get uh, the tapper manager there at Marshall Brewing Company, uh, Kyle Johnson, is going to come on and uh, talk to us about Black Dolphin and his, his journey into craft beer. And uh, we'll complete the Marshall tripod. <laughs> I, Pretty fucking I, legit. I said that to Wes, <laughs> I said that to Wes yesterday, and uh, he said he was the longer leg, and I said, I don't know, Eric's taller. <laughs> <sighs> awesome. Did you see? I, we've talked about this a lot on the shows. So I probably should just throw it out here now. The founder shit that happened. Yeah, so I was, was going to bring it up too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, no one's at fault. <laughs> I don't even know how to like articul- articulately put that into words how stupid that is. Fucking guy said that he wasn't aware the dude was black. That was ridiculous. Oh my God. Like repeatedly. Fuck like God. so this person, I don't know what that means. Come on, dude. Yeah. That's ridiculous. That is the dumbest fucking defense I've ever heard in my life. I swear to God. I, yeah. I <sighs> haven't had any of their beer since I found out about this shit over a year ago. Won't ever yep. have it again. Too many other options, and fuck them. Yeah, racist fucks. Even though no one's at fault, right? That's, I, I just don't get that. That's it's so just fucking so bad ridiculous. That you're to shut down your tap room in Detroit. Yeah, for one of the final releases of whatever that beer was, CBS or yeah. whichever one it was. Uh, yeah. And if you don't know what we're talking about, go just Google Founders Beer Racism. <laughs> Anything else been happening? Uh, Going on? I know that was the big news. No, I don't think so. Um, All right, well, that's going to do it for this week. Jeremy, close this motherfucker down. Hey, guys, uh, don't let the door hit in the vagina on the way out. <laughs> that was hilarious. That's going to do it for another episode of Pub Talk. Make sure to head over to our website, pubtalkpodcast.com. 
Uh, follow us on social media at Pub Talk Podcast. Subscribe to the show, uh, audio or video. You can find us on YouTube for the video version. Make sure you never miss an episode. And as always, never forget there's nothing in life too big or hard. You can't handle it over a few beers with your good friends. Until next time, chill till the next episode.